Hello, and welcome back to the More Than Men YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe, drop a like on the video to show some support. And let's get into today's video episode. Self-discipline is the highest level of self-love. Self-discipline is the highest form of self-love, guys. There's a lot of ways you can look at self-love, and I think our general perception is kind of giving yourself like a freebie, like a pass. It's like, okay, I feel kind of bad today. Like, oh, I'm stressed out from work. Okay, I'm off work now. It's the weekend, Friday night. All right, I'm gonna order a pizza. However, maybe that's out of your, your diet, right? Maybe you're trying to, to lose weight. You wanna drop your body fat, trying to get in shape. Obviously, if you're ordering a pizza, you're kind of contradicting that setting that you built for yourself. And because of that, I would argue that you're not really loving yourself. <laughs> When we're ordering pizza after a busy week of work, when you're stressed out or school, whatever it may be, it's like, I don't know if you're really loving yourself, right? And then on the other end of that, I would say a, a higher level of self-love is making that salad, make that chicken salad, you know? It's like, okay, you love yourself so much that you're gonna stay disciplined and then keep your habits in track. You know, you're keeping yourself in check. Back when I started cold showers about three years ago, I wasn't the biggest fan guys at the time I'm like, wow, this is like kind of stressful for me Like I'm freaking out like I'm about to turn the water cold Like is that something I really want to do the warm water feels nice right now? I'm not trying to be freezing cold And then I started to do it and after a few days. I'm like I'm telling myself automatically like whoa, like I love you and I would I'd hit it I would turn it cold and that was something that I like started to do before I even had this realization of self-discipline being the highest level of self-love. I was forcing myself to take cold showers because I love myself. That's how much I love myself, guys. Like, I'm, I'm going to take an ice cold shower because I love myself. I'm going to eat that salad instead of the pizza because I love myself. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I don't want to go to the gym today. I had a long day at work. I was on a, a call with a few clients that I was coaching. Yeah, I, I don't have a lot of energy for the gym, but you know what? I'm going to show up because I love myself. This is what self-discipline is, guys. Self-discipline is self-love. And I'm not trying to say go overboard here. Don't get the wrong message. We don't need to go 10 out of 10 discipline, complete monk mode. If you want to, you can for a short period of time. I don't think it's sustainable long term. However, these small things in your life, the cold showers, the gym sessions, the journaling, the meditation, the reading, if you're showing up for those every single day, it adds up over time. Eventually, you're going to change your identity. You change your self-image. Okay, now I am a person that reads every day. That's amazing. I've read every single day for the last three years because I adopted that mindset because I'm disciplined, because I love myself. Yeah, I'll be on lunch, lunch break at work, and I'll be like, hmm, I could just, you know, scroll on my phone. Uh, well, you know what? I brought my book. I'm going to read instead. It's great, great time to get an hour in of reading. Self-discipline is the highest form of self-love, guys. If you love yourself, you're going to be disciplined. Think of those things that you need to be showing up for that you're currently not, that you need to be, you know, improve the relationship with yourself. Love yourself more. As always, guys, thank you for watching the video. Subscribe if you're not already. Drop a like to show some support, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.